Uh, no reaction at this hour to the summoning of Iran's top uh, envoy in Paris. I highly doubt that there's going to be a public uh, reaction uh, to this development. Iranian uh, people, the public, they simply have too much on their plate uh, to worry about diplomats condemning one another. We could hear uh, from government officials. We'll wait and see. However, this is another indication that relations between Iran and France are quickly deteriorating. Uh, the summoning of Iran's top envoy in Paris uh, by the French Foreign Ministry, the result of two other young men being executed, hanged uh, on Saturday in connection with the protests, and three other individuals being sentenced uh, to death. The two individuals executed <clears throat> on Saturday, uh, their names, uh, Mohammad Mehdi Karami, reportedly a 22-year-old karate uh, champ, and 39-year-old Mohammad Hosseini, reportedly uh, a man who worked at a, a poultry factory. Iranian authorities say back in November, these two individuals were part of a gang that beat to death Ruhollah Ajamian, a 32-year-old member of Iran's Basij paramilitary force. Iranian authorities and state media airing video purportedly showing uh, Ajamian being beat to death. However, human rights groups say these two individuals were unjustly executed. Uh, they say their, uh, their trials were sham, that they lasted a couple of weeks, that they were never afforded a legitimate attorney, and they never had a proper uh, chance to defend uh, themselves. In summoning uh, Iran's top envoy in Paris, the French Foreign Ministry condemning uh, the execution of these two individuals and also condemning I Iran for sentencing to death. A number of other individuals, human rights groups say 15 other uh, men uh, uh, accused of taking part in the protest are scheduled to be sentenced to death. Uh, Reza, there have been reports of yet more protests there in Iran these last uh, couple of days. Just tell us a bit more about those uh, protests and whether they've got the same sort of intensity as what we were seeing a couple of months ago. Uh, indeed, the past uh, couple of days, we have seen uh, anti-government protests uh, pop up again after what seemed like a, a relative uh, law. These protests coinciding with these executions, these death sentences, and the uh, three-year anniversary of the downing of the Ukrainian International Airlines uh, flight back in uh, 2020. It's hard to say how big they are, the way these protests work. They pop up. They're usually chased away quickly uh, by these armed security forces uh, uh, that are on uh, motorcycles. The protesters regroup and they reemerge somewhere else. It's hard to say how big they were the past couple of days. And are they as intense as we saw them a couple of months ago? Iranian authorities say they're not. Uh, the protesters say they are. Certainly the fact that they reemerged the past couple of days are an indication that this movement is still alive. And if the government continues executing people, it is very likely that they could intensify.